uh, even though there has been many attempts at uh, ceasefire, Israel is not interested in that. The Prime Minister of Israel officially announced on the eve of the Passover uh, what his intentions are and the intentions of his government uh, is, is to proceed. He said he's going to hit, he's going to hit harder and uh, more intensely and, and uh, in a more targeted yeah. manner than he has done in the past. So we have to take him uh, for his words. That's what uh, he's done uh, in the past. And, and the fact that, uh, you know, what uh, your guests described earlier in terms of the U.S. position sheltering uh, Israel, both uh, uh, in the field and, and uh, at the United Nations in, in terms of diplomatic efforts, uh, same thing in Cairo, same thing in Doha. Mm -hmm. uh, the U.S. Uh, decided to reduce uh, I itself from a superpower, uh, essentially, into an advocate or, or, or a lawyer uh, for Israel in terms of continuing this fight. And it doesn't believe. I think Biden, personally, mm -hmm. uh, uh, judging from meetings with his uh, uh, close uh, uh, aides, uh, I, I don't think is convinced that Israel has gotten enough revenge uh, out of this war. So he feels that... Uh, and his administration feels that Israel has the right to continue 